So, hello, my dear Hi. friends. <laughs> Katharina Walter. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Lovely to catch up with you, to connect with you. Yeah, absolutely. For me too. <laughs> and I'm so curious to hear about your crowdfunding campaign. You just started recently to yeah. fulfill your big dreams it's, since you, which you have since you're a little child, huh? aren't you? To build a guest house in France. I'm yeah, so curious time. to hear more about this. <laughs> well, uh, I was raised by parents who love France. They adore this country. So I went to France every year, like three times or even more often. And um, I just fell in love with the language, with the people, with the culture. And I knew as a child that one day, one day I will have this old mill somewhere uh, next to the river and just live in France. So that was my dream since I've been a kid. Mm -hmm. And um, well, I always came back and, and visited France. I think it's been 65 times now. <laughs> so very often that I spent time there. And uh, came there with my partners and with my my children, and they fell in love too. And um, yeah, then the dream kind of became a vision to realize it. You know, just dreams are there for us to make them come true. That's their purpose. So um, I realized that now, as an adult, I have the abilities, the possibilities, maybe to to realize this dream. And so I went for it. And everything I did, I did with this vision in my mind that one day, <laughs> yeah, and um, I don't know exactly why it happened now and this year, but it was just a very strong feeling that the time is right and that I now want to bring it to earth. And so I started the crowdfunding campaign, I'm actually on my birthday, <laughs> and um, invited people to support me. So I described the idea behind it and... Um, yeah, just invited people to, to support it. If they can feel the vision, if they think it's a good idea to, um, yeah, to, to kind of create a place where people can come together flexibly and um, have great encounters and, and co-create there, co-live, uh, co-learn, just, you know, just celebrate being. That's what it's all about for me, <laughs> just to be together and to celebrate being what they are and who they are and, um, yeah, to work on projects together, to have their children around, you know, to combine family life and work and um, just to experience that there are different ways of living life. You know, very often we, we think that there are so many impossibilities and that we can't do this. And, and this is just, um, yeah, a place where I want to invite people to make new experiences and to see that it is possible. Uh, whatever they want to um, want to realize, want to want to work on, um, that it's possible, and um, yeah. So this guest house or uh, community place um, should be just a place of celebrating being and being together, and um, yeah, having fun. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. Yeah, and so insp inspirational. Yeah, that you really live out your dream hmm. and, and it's never too late. And the crowdfunding campaign, <laughs> uh, we will send a link so people can have a look at it. How long does it run for your crowdfunding campaign? Well, it's open-ended. Uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, um, I didn't fix it on a date because, um, you know, I, I, don't, I didn't want to give it a, a point until when I, I'd have to realize it and, and get the money, you know. I don't want to focus on it has to be like this and that, but I just want to keep it flowing. And uh, that's why it has no end. And um, people can just, just join it and, uh, yeah, support it whenever they want to. And we will see when the, uh, the money that is needed. I mean, I'm not a big fan of saying, well, it needs the money to realize um, a dream but um, money as well you know it's a resource and the energy that we give into it um, is quite important and so I focus on money as something that that can help me to realize the vision to um, yeah to serve to serve people in in doing yeah what I want to do in, in being who I am and mm. uh, that's why I kind of yeah I just invite uh, this flow and this money as well as I invite 
you know, the air that I breathe. And um, uh, it can just flow. I can just flow in <laughs> and we'll see. And where exactly is the stream place in France? Does it already exist? Yeah. Um, well, there have been many places, many houses. It's in the Perigord, so very much um, close to the ocean, but like one and a half hour away from the Atlantic. Um, it's near Bordeaux. So this is the next uh, very big city and the airport. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, this is an area, you know, culturally very interesting, um, very beautiful, many artists around, many musicians. Um, nature is beautiful. Um, so many uh, forests and uh, of course you have vegetables and fruits there. The climate is, is great. And um, I love the river. <laughs> it's, it's two rivers actually in this area um, where you can go canoeing and just have a great time on the borders. And um, it's known for the, uh, how do you say that? Um, the very first people uh, who lived in the caves there. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so many museums and uh, yeah, it's just beautiful and very creative. It's a very creative area and you can feel it, you know, it's, it's yellow sandstone everywhere and the houses are so pretty and very, uh, you know, medieval character. And yeah, it's just, uh, it's just great. You know, I see myself walking uh, over these market marketplaces and the smell, you know, the smell is so intense. Everything smells so fresh and it's, um, I just love it. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, you asked if there is a place already. Um, of course, I was, um, I was looking for houses, places. Um, I've been looking for years now just to keep my feelings <laughs> in this high frequency. Mm. And um, <clears throat> I think it was two months ago when I was on a website and, and saw this old mill. And it was a mill actually, uh, you know, the dream that I had was a mill. And uh, I've seen many houses, but then this mill came up and um, it's not a pretty and cute house. Like there are many houses who, who look gorgeous, you know, very beautiful. But this mill was just, you know, just um, an old mill building um, with a farm next to it and 16 hectares of, uh, of land and um, 10 hectares um, forest and with an own uh, fresh water source. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> I looked at it and I contacted the seller and um, we just, you know, had communication and uh, it looks like perfect to realize what I, what I want to realize there because it's, it's the, um, it's nature everywhere around it. You know, it's not in a city or, or in a village even, but uh, like 500 meters uh, that you can walk uh, to the next village, which is a small village, but the next town is like 15 kilometers away. So not too far. Uh, the next airport is one and a half hour and yeah, it's just next to the river and there is even um, a small river river um, on the on the ground so uh, so on this place and uh, you've got so many opportunities there there is a um, a workshop and an atelier and uh, many rooms for people to come or to live there constantly um, depends on who wants what I mean I was thinking about growing a community like um, starting community life with other families and then realize, well, me too, you know, I enjoy being by myself sometimes. So um, it's important for me to have space for myself, for my family, but nevertheless have the opportunity to be together with others. And um, this place is big enough and um, it has many rooms, many community rooms as well, um, so that you can be together whenever you want to and you can work together and just, you know, but nevertheless, you have the chance to say, okay, today I just want to be by myself. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, and what I wanted to do is to, what makes it unique maybe <clears throat> is, um, sorry, <clears throat> is that um, I want to open it because very often you have communities that are like closed communities, you know, they live together and that's the, yeah, that's the family and <laughs> that's the community. But what I want to do is to invite people that it becomes more flexible so um, that people can come and join 
us, so me and my family, or if there will be some others, I don't know yet, um, to join us and, and just spend time together as long as it feels right. Um, and, you know, when, when I was traveling with my family, uh, we were traveling for three years, um, we often thought I would be so nice to have a place to come to where there are other families where the kids can play together, where we as adults can like work together and just chat and, you know, spend time together, share work. And um, it was very hard to find those places. They didn't exist. Um, I don't know if they do now, but um, this was the idea that I thought, well, why not create such a place where people can come if it's travelers, like permanent travelers, digital nomads, uh, or if it's people who live in the system, so to speak, but want to experience alternative kinds of vacation. So if they go on holidays um, and they don't want to be... Um, like isolated, they want their kids to meet others. Um, maybe, uh, you know, speaking the same language um, is important for many, many people that they kind of meet people who they can understand. And um, so this place will open up and um, invite people to come over and spend some weeks or a month or, yeah, and it can grow into more. It can grow into a, a constant community as well. This is wow. just a creative process of seeing where it goes to, you know. Mm, sounds wonderful. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is wonderful. You know, it's already existing. That's that's the thing. I can feel it. I, it's like every day I wake up and I'm happy because I have it. I have it. It's there. You know, all it needs is, um, yeah, is actually the uh, how do you say that? Um, uh, well, it needs the money for it, <laughs> so that the. Um, the energy can be like exchanged, you know, it gives a lot, this place gives a lot. So I have to give the money in to have the exchange. And uh, yeah. Well, it's all, that's why crowdfunding I think is so effective. It's not like you have to give in the money, but just by sharing your vision, like we're doing now as well and to crowdfunding to attract already the right people. And so that to a crowd, yeah, uh, it can come to fruition and it will surely attract the right people as well who share the same vision as well yeah huh? I hope so <laughs> I hope so and I, you know it's only a week now and um, I think it's around 25,000 already you know um, which is amazing I mean I'm, I'm so grateful for that I appreciate these people who really trust me who can feel me and who give me a big yes um, mm. this is amazing. I mean, this is just love I'm feeling. Uh, it's, it's, um, it's incredible. It brings me to tears. Mm. Um, it's such a gift. Yeah. And how much do you need to be able to, to move in there and to start? Well, it costs 550,000, the whole place with the two houses and, uh, all the land. Um, which of course, you know, I, um, one day I remember my mentor said, well, there is no such thing as uh, much money. It's just money and it's your energy uh, mm. that decides if it's a lot of money or if it's like peanuts, you know? Mm. And um, that's why I, I, um, I just stopped thinking, well, it's a lot of money. It's money. And you will have something for it, which is worth the money. So, um, yeah, there, there are houses who cost a million and there are people who say, well, a million, okay, no, no big deal. And others will say, oh, that's a fortune. I mean, I will never, ever be able to pay that. And um, I just learned to get more open when it comes to money questions and just to accept it as a resource that is available. Uh, there is money around this world, you know, it's available for everyone. And uh, the only question is, can you feel what it's for? Can you put, do you put your worth in, in what you need it for or what you want it for. And if you have this feeling behind it, um, I'm pretty much sure that um, the money will flow into what it is meant for, you know. Mm. Yeah, beautiful. It's like a river. I always feel it's like a river, which is just, just flowing most naturally. That's why it's also called currency. Yeah, yeah. Reminds me always of a river. And it's Absolutely. up and it's down to us if we put the dams up or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And there are so many, um, I mean, it's very often that you think, why should anybody, you know, give me the money? Why should I be worth it? Why should this vision be worth it? Why should blah, 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 blah. You know, you, you make up stories in your mind and you stop the money coming just by mm -hmm. thinking the wrong way, you know? And uh, it, it's very important as well, I think, um, that, you know, of course, now I need, I need this money to, to realize the vision. But nevertheless, you know, last week, I guess a friend of mine um, asked for help for, um, for a project that they have, uh, which costs a lot of money. And um, I spent the money, you know, I spent the money, uh, even though I need it as well now. But it's about, you know, it's about letting it go as well. And only when you like, yeah, keep it flowing, it can flow in, you know. And so it's, it's not like I, I need the money, I grab the money, it's mine. <laughs> um, but it's just to let it go through you into another project or uh, into, you know, just someone who needs it just right now. And um, yeah, it's a great experience with money for me now. Um, uh, just to, because I, of course I learned as a child, um, if you have money, you keep it and you, you know, keep it until you're old and then you can spend it for your lifelong dreams maybe. And then you're ill and then you're too old and then you can't do anything at all. So uh, I, I learned to just live in the moment and do what's, what's, yeah, the best next step. And, um, you never know. I mean, every moment is special. Every moment brings something that you can't foresee. So, um, mm -hmm. can you envision a time where you would like to live there or are you really just in this open space it will come when it's the right timing uh, well my ego <laughs> wants to go right now <laughs> <laughs> corona stopped me from being in France because uh, actually we, we wanted to go in March and uh, kind of, you know, visit the houses and, um, you know, meet people, talk to, to people there and um, just feel it again, feel the area to surround ourselves by, by everything. And um, yeah, now we are in Ireland. I mean, we have our um, very powerful place here. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully as soon as the borders are open again and we can travel, um, we will go to France and, and yeah, just meet these uh, these owners of the mill and um, get into contact with them. They're pretty old already. So 84 and 82, oh. and that's why they want to sell it now. And um, very cute people and uh, very open hearted and, and nice. And, you know, it's not a, um, how do you call these guys? Uh, Immobilien makler. Um, real estate agents. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's no real, real estate, but uh, it's, it's private people who sell it, <clears throat> which makes, makes it very, um, yeah, it just, it, it's a very nice encounter. And so I can't wait to go and, and just be there and see it and feel it uh, because of course the pictures are very nice and uh, nice in a way of, oh, wow, this is the place. It's, it's so huge and wide and the forest, you know, I love trees. I need trees around. Mm -hmm. um, that's the main point why I can't stay forever in Ireland or not only in Ireland. I want to keep this place here, but I need trees and Ireland is very, um, you know, very round trees. So um, <clears throat> I envision of sitting in front of the chimney for Christmas. <laughs> well, that's pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I've waited a lifespan now. So <laughs> no, um, yeah, yeah. It's just the the um, the vision to mm -hmm. to see myself in front of this. Uh, fireplace and um, celebrate Christmas there with lots of nice people and families who want to be with us. Sounds wonderful. <laughs> well, yeah. Maybe I join you. <laughs> feel free. I just want to say, feel free to come over. Because <laughs> yeah. it sounds so nice, and I I love your eclectic approach, which is also so inspirational to me to have different bases. Because I also envision to have t three different bases where I feel at home. Mm. And I mean, uh, literally, I have got so many roots. So it took me a lot of like overcoming of limiting beliefs to say, I don't need just one place. It's perfectly yeah. fine to have different bases to live in. And you're such a great example because um, you're already one step ahead. Yeah, well, 
I think it came from from traveling, of course, that we've been like all around Europe and even to Africa. And um, the feeling came that there are so many beautiful places. There are so many places, not only beautiful, but where you could feel uh, there is something. There is, as you call it, roots, you know, that that you feel connected to the place, to the surroundings, maybe to the people, to the culture. And what I realized, you know, I've never been a big friend of Spain. I don't know why, maybe because there's always been this, it's either Spain or it's France. <laughs> it's always been like that. You could learn French or you could learn, learn Spanish. It was never, you can do both. So that was kind of a program running in me. Um, and it was always, you know, it's been France. And then um, when I came back from Portugal and we drove through Spain and took the northern route, we came to Galicia, Galicia. I don't know what it's in English, Galicia. Yeah, well, so the northern part of Spain. And I felt so much at home. And we spent like eight weeks there. And it was amazing. The, the people, the climate, the just I felt home there. I I've, you know, I've, I would never have imagined to feel home in Spain, somewhere in Spain. <laughs> And then I found out there are stone circles, there are Celtic roots there, you know, people came from Ireland. And um, that was amazing to find out that, that I realized, oh, that's why, you know, I'm, I'm very much connected to, um, I always forget if it's Celtic or Celtic, I, I don't know. Well, um, so the, the Tris Kayleigh is, uh, it's on my, on my arm as a sign. Every day I look at it, I'm like, yeah, that's it. It's this, um, um, this combination of different places and the three has always been my number, you know, I'm, bo I'm born on the third and I'm, um, I'm made in the department 33 in France and uh, I got my three kids and it's always been uh, the three, you know, in every part of my life. And now it's three countries, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's that um, I really adore Scotland as well. I love Scotland and uh, it's Ireland and it's France. And, um, it's very interesting to, to kind of feel this and to, to realize uh, that you have different places on this wonderful planet where you feel home. And uh, at least it's Mother Earth itself, mm -hmm. you know, herself, um, which is our home. And uh, yeah, I love this uh, idea of not being uh, fixed on, on anything. I mean, on a house or uh, on just, you know, saying this is mine. Um, I don't need that at all, you know, and, and that was a big deal now with a house idea uh, of buying a house. Um, the only case why I need to buy a house is that there are no big houses to rent in France. You can only buy them. And um, I don't need my name on it. I don't need to have it to own it. You know, it's not what I wanted. <laughs> I, I let go of everything that I owned um, just to feel I don't need it. I'm just free when I, when I have what I need right here and I can give it away whenever I want to. Um, but for this project, it needs a place that belongs to me, to a community, to people, because, uh, you know, there's so much that we want to create and, um, yeah, if it's not ours, we can't do it. <laughs> so that's mm -hmm. the, uh, the only reason for it. Yeah. Hmm. The next new step of experience in life. Yeah. But I'm um, like drawing really big roots there. Yeah. Yeah. And the, and but that's what, what makes it so interesting. You know, I, I'm in contact with one guy and he said, well, I would, I would totally jump in. I would be with, with you and, and do this and I can bring in this and that. And, you know, and we shared our ideas and visions and he's very creative too. And, um, uh, actually he wanted to buy a, uh, piece of land in Spain. Spain again but he said well I'm not too too fixed on Spain could be France as well and I like France as well so um what came up in him was uh well but to really go all in I mean to spend my money to say this is the place and I'll do it right here and right now it needs a commitment it needs a yes it needs a decision and this is pretty hard for a lot of people to decide mm. something because they think and this is a very old pattern I think um, if I decided now, this is forever. <laughs> and that's how we grew up. I mean, you know, my parents always said, when you learn this job, you do this job. That's your job. That's what you mm. are. That's who you are. And when you buy a house, this is for life, for a lifetime. You know, you wouldn't move away from that. Uh, or if you marry, this is for a lifetime. Yes. Um, and there are so many things that, that we've learned 
And when I started breaking these patterns and asking myself, is that really who I am? Um, I found out, no, it's not. I can make experiences. I can just flow through life or just be this flow. I mean, that's what we are. We are energy in, in flow. So um, I can say yes to it today. And if I feel that there is a big no tomorrow, I can make a, another decision. I have the choice in every second of my life. Every moment is a new one. I'm born yes. every second. And um, which doesn't mean that I'm not ready to commit myself, um, you know, to, to say this is a project and I really want to do it. And if there is a problem, I'm, I'm the last person who would run away straight away and, uh, you know, and say, okay, uh, next decision. But um, it only means that if you commit yourself to something, um, you know, you, you don't have to do it uh, if, if it doesn't feel absolutely not right. Um, and, and you can change whatever needs to be changed. And um, if people don't feel it after a while, uh, there will be solutions to, to deal with that and to make the necessary new decisions then. But um, what I ended up, yeah, you know, very often we, we think things um, into a project that more or less destroy the project before it has even started. Like, but what if, what if? And we always mm. bring up the worst things that could ever happen. And um, I started doing it the other way around and asked myself, okay, if I do it now, what is the very best thing that could come out of it? What is the best thing that could happen? And this kind of, you know, I get goosebumps because this is, um, what, what makes everything possible if you think in possibilities and not in impossibilities. And um, yeah, so that was a big change in, in, my, in my life and in my thinking and in me creating my reality. Because if I think of, of uh, things that I want in my life and I uh, kind of break the whole idea uh, down to nothing uh, before or destroy the whole idea before it could even come into my reality. Uh, well, it can't come if you don't invite it. And an invitation is always open-hearted. An invitation is like, yes, you can come. Mm. And um, so there is always a big yes for what I feel and what I, um, yeah, what I put my focus on. And um, yeah, then I see what happens, and uh, it will always serve me. You know, there are no such things as. Um, there is something happening to me. It's not happening to me. It's happening through me. Mm. So whatever I give into the whole thing will resonate and will come into my reality. And to accept that um, makes, you know, makes fear go away, makes doubts go away. You're just experiencing life mm. and um, you learn your lessons. And um, that's just so much easier than um, always thinking, oh, can this happen? But what if this and, oh, no, I shouldn't do that. Um, because maybe this will, you know, oh, what a burden. Yes, but still so human. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Always getting we're back all to going centering ourselves. So what is speaking through <laughs> me now? My ego, yeah. is it the divine flowing through me? I mean, it's an ongoing practice, but it's so, yeah, yeah it's... Very wise what you're talking about to, to yeah to ask ourselves all the time is this authentic is it are we like channels for the divine to move to us or are we the folds oh the well like yeah, yeah. I think there's like sixty thousand folds a day and uh, I mean it's very easy to be caught up in this isn't it absolutely I mean it happens to everyone yeah. but the thing to, to become aware of it. I mean, thinking is a part of us. We are humans. So we are in this mm -hmm. body and we have this tool to kind of act ourselves out. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's very important to be aware of the fact that um, thoughts are not what we are and that we can change thoughts just like that. Yes. And, and this is so important. And when I think that I can't do it, then I can't do it. But if I change it into I can do it and I change my beliefs... And yeah. I change hope into I believe. This is such a huge difference because, you know, hope is always like the big, uh, the, the sister of doubt. Mm. If I hope, it has an indication of, ah, but I think that it maybe doesn't happen. You know, hope is like, I hope it, I hope it so desperately. But I don't know if it, you know. 
and um, believing something has kind of a positive expectation in it that mm. I give my focus on something that I truly believe that I am the creator of this reality, that whatever I give my focus to and what I can feel and I can decide what I want to feel in every moment I can decide, you know, do you want to feel good right now? Then I recall things and, and ideas and thoughts um, from past experiences that made me feel good. And that brings me into this frequency and it's, you know, it's our energy and these frequencies that, resonate with the universe or god or the source the quantum fields whatever you want to call it mm. um and this is what brings in the manifestation in, in your reality so it's very important to to have a look um if you want to believe your thoughts and uh, if you want to identify with everything that you think and that you um that you think you are mm. well thank you <laughs> my son is gonna come in any minute so okay <laughs> we can finish on this uh, very wise words of yeah going within ourselves and out ourselves yeah what do we believe or what do we hope for or are we acting from the ego or from our essence yeah i think it's uh, very important to to understand that the real life happens inside you know it's it's what what you are and what your essence is that may turn out into a reality that you create then it's not that the outer world makes you who you are but exactly the other way around well thank you i wish you lots of luck um, luck is you. also something like um <laughs> yeah. oh it's it's very not tangible uh, so it's not the right um, word what i wish you I wish you to be present that this mm. currency, that this currency of money is going to come to you, to the right people. Yeah, and it just keeps flowing without those Thank dams uh, right to, yeah, to this place <laughs> and to, to your vision to be realized. Mm. Thanks a lot. Thanks a Thank lot for everyone joining <laughs> and listening to this. And uh, yeah, wish you a wonderful day. And uh, of course, for your project as well. But I know that you're centered and that you're very connected. So yeah, just enjoy yourself. Celebrate everything you are. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. -bye. Bye. See you next time. <laughs>